Hello everyone, welcome to Grow Med. This channel is a one-stop guide for the FMG aspirants where we will be discussing about the mnemonics, the images, previous year questions, everything, all you need for the FMG. So subscribe to Grow Med and tap the bell icon to get all the notification. In this video, we will be discussing a must 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 do topic for the FMGE, which is the vitamins. So the questions from vitamins are repeatedly asked in the FMGE and not only one question, there are like almost three or four questions. So you cannot miss this topic as this topic is integrated with a lot of subjects like first of all the biochemistry. So in the biochemistry, it comes uh, like based on the deficiencies then the chemical formula then its composition okay like that it it forms everything and it comes in psm based on the nutritional deficiencies uh, based on the nutritional requirement the requirement daily allowance requirement then in the ophthalmology especially the vitamin a and then in pediatrics because uh, usually in children they are more likely to be deficient so comes in pediatric in medicine in psychiatry almost all subject so you must and should do this topic so i have tried to cover all the points related to the vitamins in a one page so that it will be time saving for you guys and you will also be able to remember all the points so the vitamin a its source and it is rich in the halibut and codfish oil so what i'll be doing in this video is say you guys what all you must read and questions are asked in which format okay so let's look at them the vitamin a it is asked in the ophthalmology also and the question that we usually asked from the ophthalmology is that it is the cause of uh, most common cause of uh, night blindness or most common cause of blindness in the children okay vitamin a deficiency so it's a source that is the halibut or the cod fish oil then mango and carrot these are the vegetable sources then uh, the requirement how much requirement uh, so this is important from the psm point of view uh, the daily nutritional requirement then if there is deficiency then uh, it will be presenting as xerophthalmia that is the dryness of the eye and the bite out spot so repeatedly a question is asked on this bite out spot so it looks like this a foamy presentation on the eye important from the ophthalmology point of view so there are grades uh, for the deficiency of the vitamin a uh, which are like grade 1 a b 2 x 2x 3a 3b so you need to buy hard this whole table because question can be asked that the patient is having bite out spot so what grade is it classified as okay so like that the grades can be asked question can be asked on the grade then looking at the treatment so oral vitamin a will be given and this oral vitamin a it is also included in the national immunization schedule which is an uh, question from the psm so the oral vitamin A, uh, we will be giving on the day 1, 2 and 14 if there is deficiency, okay. But in case of the national immunization schedule, normally we will be giving it after 9 months, okay. Then moving on to the screening level, if there is vitamin A deficiency, the screening it is done by the retinol levels and the function of the vitamin A. It helps in the vision as we all know that uh, the most common vision. Then it also helps in the epithelial de differentiation and also plays an important role in the normal reproduction. So these were the points you must remember from the vitamin A. Now let's look at vitamin D. So it's source the halibut then adult the requirement in the adult and in the pregnancy. So in the past year a question was asked on the active form of the vitamin D that is the cholecalciferol the D3 a one liner was asked. In case of deficiency it causes rickets in children and in adults causes osteoporosis or osteomalacia and treatment is by the vitamin D supplementations. So the function of the vitamin D this is also important as questions are asked on this function which is the intestinal absorption of the calcium. So this is the image of the formation of the vitamin D. So in the skin it is present as 7 dehydrocalciferol and it is converted to the active form by these methods. 
okay so then the next vitamin the vitamin e it function is acts as an antioxidant so this is asked in the past year as a one liner the question was which of the following is the most potent antioxidant and there were certain vitamins and the answer was vitamin e and if there is deficiency then it will cause neurological disorders and hemolytic anemia so that's it we you need to remember from the vitamin e so mostly the question is asked on its antioxidant property and also the name other name of the vitamin e that is the tocopherol then the vitamin c vitamin c important very very important so its sources are the amla guava citrus fruit and cabbage and the function is iron absorption must 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 remember point iron absorption uh, so question are repeatedly this question is asked that which of the following helps which of the following vitamin helps in the absorption of the iron and the answer is vitamin c okay then it also acts as antioxidant and it's another very important function is the post translational modification of the collagen so if there is deficiency of this vitamin c we can see scurvy and scurvy presents as bleeding gums then poor wound healing because the collagen is not the formation of the collagen is not proper due to which there will be features like bleeding gum and poor wound healing so this is also a repeat question and the pattern of question asked in this curve is they will be describing these features and they will be giving you the options uh, like the bleeding gums then image also can be given of the bleeding gums then poor wound healing and there can be deficiency uh, iron deficiency anemia because the iron is not able to absorb okay so they will describe these features and ask you which of the following vitamin is deficient okay so these were all the vitamins a b a b d let's speak about k now so k also uh, frequently this question is asked mainly on the carboxylation of glutamate for the factors and if there is deficiency of the vitamin k then it will be neonatal hemorrhage so the pattern of the question can be which of the following vitamin is used to prevent the uh, neonatal hemorrhagic disease and it is the vitamin k okay so questions are also asked on its form the k1 k2 k3 three forms uh, as well as you need to remember the names and which is fat soluble and which is water soluble okay so this was all about the vitamin k now let's look at the b complex the vitamins a uh, must 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 do topic theek hai so there are repeatedly questions asked on this vitamin b1 that is the thymine and the b3 so b3 i think this time also there was a question asked in the jan 2024 okay so repeatedly questions are asked on this let's look at the vitamin b1 now uh, so if there is deficiency then it will cause beri beri and the question can be asked in relation with the psm that a person is having only the polish rice and the patient comes with the complaints like the fatigue irritability poor memory loss of appetite weight loss theek okay. hai so like this they'll be describing these features and uh by looking at this mainly the polish rice and the features you need to crack it as the berry berry and it is due to the vitamin b1 deficiency okay so and if there is chronic alcohol then it will be wernicke's encephalopathy so this question is asked in relation with the psychiatry also so it is a must do topic then uh another very important function of it is that it is required in the oxidative decarboxylation and questions are also asked on its marker that is the transketolase then the vitamin b2 deficiency whenever it will be deficient the patient will be presenting the features like angular stomatitis chilocytis and glossitis mainly uh, the complaints will be like there will be swelling in the tongue or burning sensation in the tongue and the marker of this is the glutathione reductase so this is also asked uh, multiple times as a one liner then moving on the vitamin b3 so this image i think most of you have already uh, look seen this image and already you have been solved a lot of questions related to this so the vitamin b uh, so deficiency causes pellagra which presents as three d's that is diarrhea dementia 
dermatitis and then the last is the death so if you do not treat this condition then the patient will be dying because of this so uh, hint in this question is that it is most commonly seen in the maize eaters so if there is given something like a maize eater and he presents with this three days or four days then three days then uh, he will be most likely suffering from the pellagra and if they've given this image then to they have given you the answer as well okay so when you see this image blindly mark the answer as the b3 or near niacin deficiency and if they ask about the disease then it will be the pellagra so the questions one liner is asked in biochemistry in relation to the precursor of the niacin so which amino acid acts as a precursor and it is the tryptophan so tryptophan will be giving this vitamin that is the niacin then the b5 which is the pantothenic acid so it it acts as a cofactor for the coenzyme a and if there is deficiency presence as burning feet syndrome so this is not that uh, likely to be asked in the exam so if at all they want to ask then they'll be giving this burning feet syndrome then moving on vitamin b6 which is the pyridoxine so it is required for the decarboxylation mechanisms uh, decarboxylation reactions then protein metabolism and glycogen phosphorylase okay then if there is deficiency then it presents as peripheral neuropathy and there will be the patient complaining of the tingling sensation and there will be cytoplastic anemia the marker for this b6 is the transaminase so do remember this peripheral neuropathy the tingling sensation so whenever there is uh, something like this described in the question then think in terms of the vitamin b6 if at all if it is given in the question in the options okay then vitamin b7 it is required for the carboxylation reactions and in deficiency it will cause alopecia there will be consumption of the raw eggs history of consumption and this is a hint to crack this question so whenever raw egg consumption and alopecia then blindly mark the answer as the biotin deficiency and if at all they can give another very important hint in the question like a gym uh, trainee or a person who works in the gym okay something like that then whenever this is deficient then there will be multi-carboxylase deficiency also then the b9 this b9 is also called as the folic acid also a very important question so most of you might have remembered that folic acid is important in the formation of the neural tube so whenever there is deficient neural tube defects can be seen and this comes in the gynecology in the anatomy in the biochemistry so let's look at the important points which you must remember the folic acid it is converted to the tetrahydrofolate and this will help in the synthesis of the dna and the rna so the deficiency it causes megaloblastic anemia and neural tube defects so in the megaloblastic anemia there will be uh, the megalocytes present the rbc size, size will be increased and the neutrophils we can see segmented neutrophils in it okay so this megaloblastic anemia it is also seen with the vitamin b12 deficiency so whenever there is a case describing this megaloblastic anemia so how will you differentiate that it was b12 or b9 by looking at one important thing or a hint which can be given in the question that is the methyl malonate levels so whenever the methyl malonate levels these are normal then uh, go with the answer as the vitamin p9 and whenever this is reduced or less then it will be the vitamin b12 then another very important question asked repeatedly in terms of the PSM and the OBG is that the dose. Normal pregnant female, we will be giving the dose of 400 microgram to prevent the uh, neural tube defects. But in case of high risk pregnancies, you need to give 4000 microgram per day. So this was a short and a quick video in which we have discussed the important uh, topics, important points and important questions. Uh, asked from the vitamins so go through all these points and revise it three four times and also practice the questions from this vitamins topic from all the subjects to be 
perfect about what type of question can be asked so that's it in this video guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video will be useful to you guys in your preparation thank you guys bye bye